Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're just going to take a quick look and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to install the Navigraph nav data into your Aerosoft CRJ. So currently as it stands at the moment for Microsoft Flight Simulator if you have the Aerosoft CRJ like I do and uh, loads of other people do as well, fantastic aeroplane for the sim but you also have a Navigraph account like myself there is a certain number of steps that you guys will need to complete in order to push that nav data from Navigraph into the FMS of the Aerosoft CRJ to get it all working and linked up and you'll have to do it regularly every time there's a new air rack there will be a new manual downloadable package so pretty much every month until it's an automatic process hopefully once I show you guys how easy this is you'll be able to remember it and do it every single month like myself uh, so I hope you find it interesting and particularly useful. Make sure you hit like and subscribe down below as well while you're here. And let me know if it's helped in the comments below. So you're going to want to go to the Navigraph website, navigraph.com. And here if you haven't got an account, you can go through and sign up of course. And I would really recommend that annual package because then you save a little bit of money. You paid for a whole year of access in advance. Uh, and I resisted Navigraph for quite some time but I couldn't sim without it now I don't think so really love it and what you then want to do is navigate to your account so at the top of your screen you'll have your name click in there click your account and then it loads up your account page like so on the left hand side of the columns you've got a, a number of options and you want to go to FMS data if you then expand FMS data manual installation you want to scroll down and select Aerosoft CRJ Professional Windows. Click it once and you'll see at the bottom there it's downloaded the latest Air Rack 2104 uh, at the time of recording and it's downloaded it quite quickly. Show it in your folder, double click to expand it and you'll see you've got AS CRJ Pro 2104 executable. So double click and you will have this little pop-up here set up Aerosoft CRJ Professional version 2.1 read all the data um, make sure you understand what you're doing click next and you of course want to select Microsoft Flight Simulator at the very bottom it should be pre-selected it certainly was for me but just make sure that's highlighted and if you want to make a backup of your current installed air rack cycle then tick it but for me I'm quite happy to just let it crack on so I untick that hit next you want to make sure you've pointed it to the relevant folder where your simulator is installed so you can see here the routing is the strange Microsoft Flight Simulator shortcut with all the letters and numbers backslash local cache backslash packages backslash community Aerosoft CRJ and then backslash data hit next and it will install the very latest AirAC cycle and again you want to do it every single month so that uh, the Aerosoft CRJ's flight computer is updated with the air rack as well they are working of course to put it into an automatic process so we'll be able to do it within the Navigraph FMS data installer program but of course it takes a bit of time but there you go it took about 20 seconds or so and you can see that air rack cycle 2104 version 1 has been installed for the Aerosoft CRJ on your computer. Now of course throughout the month Navigraph might tweak the ARAC cycles and fix uh, one or two issues or bugs. You can if you want to say for example a version 2 comes out or a version 3 you can update it manually using the same process again uh, throughout the month up until the next ARAC cycle so that is all there is to it. I hope you found the video useful let me know what you think in the comments below and as I said at the beginning please do click that subscribe button down below as well. Check out all of my other tutorials on the channel and be sure to check out my live stream schedules. In the meantime though as always thank you for watching.